The People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state is concerned about allegations of duplication of contractual payments and large expenditures against Governor Hyacent Aliyah. The party demands that Aliyah come clean on these allegations, fulfilling his duty of accountability and transparency. Online news platforms have reported expenses such as duplication of contracts, refurbished vehicles, travel expenses, hotel accommodations and running the government house. The PDP demands Ali answers urgently. Between May 29 and September 30, 2023, Governor Heisen Ali of Benue State has spent more than 46 billion naira of state resources on various purposes, prominent among which are expenses for duplicated contracts, travels, vehicles, hotel bills, cost of running, government house, etc. Questions which PDP demands that Governor Hyacinth Alia answers as a matter of urgency include, were the expenditures so done in conformity with extant procurement and appropriation laws of Benue State? What then is the income and expenditure profile of Benue State from May 29, 2023, when Governor Hyacinth Alia assumed office? These are germane questions which PDP cautions Governor Alia against ignoring the approach to issues of accountability and transparency. It is a right of Benue people to know how their commonwealth is being expanded. And this is a right the government of the day must not deny the good people of Benue State. Meanwhile, the Benue State government has dismissed the report alleging Governor Heisen and Ali has spent over 40 billion naira since taking office, stating that the report is malicious. The Chief Press Secretary, Sir Tesso Kula, criticized the report for not considering the economic realities of the time. And also bear it at the back of your mind that Assembly members, the principal officers, the speaker is supposed to have only vehicles. They are 32. And then the principal officer, they are supposed to have two, two vehicles. Now multiply that number. How many do you have? And then give it the amount you want. And then multiply that amount by the number of vehicles you are supposed to send only to the assembly. Now you come back to government house. How many vehicles are supposed to be on the governor's convoy? Now you put that aside. After government house, how many commissioners do we have? Are they not supposed to have vehicles? How many advisors do we have? Are they not supposed to have vehicles? Continue to do your mathematics and tell me whether the money they are mentioned is actually adequate. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.